What up, bosses? MBI, gonna be bringing you some Gideon gameplay today. You best be prepared. So it's been a little while since I last uploaded some Paragon, and uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the problem I'm finding with Paragon is it's just it's just missing stuff, which obviously it's early access and blah de blah de blah, which is gonna be the case. So I've got nothing bad to say about the game, but for when I come onto this, you know, I think oh, wow, I could just be playing League of Legends where it has a lot more content and. Um, and whatnot, but I do have some good games and it's fun. But it's when you get have these like sort of sucky games, like a lot of the games I've been playing have been going on for an hour, and I just think which is a ridiculous long amount of time. Which is not necessarily the game fault. It comes down a lot to the player base. A lot also playing with um, people who are on the PS4 who probably never played a MOBA before. Played a few games with my buddy last night, who's really enjoying it. And uh, the problem was we were playing four. We were, there was a four man and uh, we were going up against five mans and they literally were invading us and I can't explain how uh, damaging an invade is to you but literally uh, we got invaded like three games in a row when we were meant to be invaded but the fourth man or the fifth man should I say the additional man who wasn't with us never was with he was never there and because of that we ended up throwing away our three kills and because everyone gets the XP they were literally um, Two items a level will lead ahead of us, so when they come in lane, they were really OP, and there was nothing we could uh, do about it. We actually killed Twimlash, we've actually rooted him here. How is he not dead? Wow. We got everyone here? We should really check that we got the upper hand here. How? Wow. What the? Oh my god. How? Wow. I can't believe we've just got first blood in. This is big now, so if we get some kills, I think we really should be. Oh, I can't believe. Freaking matey boy just died. Come on, smart up. Yeah, nice. That's really big. That's two for two. Depends if they got the XP or not. So, and that's what I mean. You can get the invade. Obviously, they, they messed up their invade. And it didn't really go as well as planned. Um, could have went a lot better for us, I think. Um, like, really, we should have killed. I can't believe we didn't kill Twimblast. I guess I don't know if everyone's. In, I think everyone's in the bush. I, don't, I really don't know what happened. So, but we trade even in the end, which is not the end of the world. But the thing what my buddy's been saying to me as well, really, which I haven't done right now, is you want to take the red buff as a whole team and then go to blue buff as a whole team, because you, at the moment in time, and I imagine it probably going to be changed, you'll get the same amount of um, item level, not the same as your normal level, but your item level, you all share that XP, so you're literally, you'll get around about uh, 1,400, I think, for doing both buffs, which is a lot. Um, but yeah, I think it's really important to invade on this game at the moment. I think it's something that's probably going to have to change about that. Like, if you get this invade, and they messed it up, so they're kind of even, really. Um, but if you can get, like, two, three kills without losing anything, it, oh, man, you could really just snowball a game. So we have no wards at the moment. I've gone for the harvester, because purely just no one freaking uses harvesters, which does leave me very vulnerable, but we've got my blink, which is one nice thing. But yeah, it, it does leave me vulnerable to being ganked, which is never fun, but I just... I don't trust my team with these frickin' harvests, that's the problem. He's actually level 1 at the moment, so we've put the hurt down on him, but again now we're over. Well, that's crazy now. Gotta be careful now we're overextended though, so. That's cool, nice bit of damage on him. Also, with the harvest to keep me, we can get this one on the left hand lane, which is really important to get. It's nothing worse. If you can get this straight away, it's so, it takes so long to kill, and then people generally forget about it, and you control this harvest the whole game. And I can't explain how important a uh, harvester is, is to the operation. I should be able to kill him here. Sorry, even comes there. The thing is, unless you get this XP here, the kill isn't, it's just a stat, so the XP is really important. I think, again, that's something you guys want to remember. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I have my moments with Paragon. It's certainly a cool game, I just need the more content to come out for I me, mean, that's the main thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. One thing I find is a cool way it's last hitting as well. I <laughs> certainly haven't mastered the art of last hitting on this game. Your early game damage is a lot less than League. and. The overhead view on League makes life a lot easier. Like trying to get behind to a minion now is so freaking hard. Um, you see, at the moment we have no harvesters down whatsoever. I think Clara's actually placed the one on the left hand lane, the one I wanted to put down. But yeah, we have no harvesters down, which is really bad. I uh, shouldn't even place one down. I think it spawns at six minutes. I think. We have a look. We've nothing to do in here. I don't want to back until we actually put one down. Yeah, uh, six minutes. 
We don't have any mana now, so we got to be a bit careful. We can't be as aggressive as before, but got that early kill, got the XP, which is really good. There's two people here now, which is fine. But we're just like sort of last hit instead of actually using my Q to shove the wave. And as I said, I don't have any wards, so kind of got respect for that. <laughs> Never there when you have these like auto tech battles and you win. So uh, this, oh god, oh god, that's a lot of you. You could be daddy, I think. Don't turn around, don't look. <laughs> wow, four people. Um, yeah, that's what I like to say. I just don't have a ward there. It's only because if she hadn't been running behind me like that, I would have kind of stayed where I was. She she gave it all sort of a war. It scared me. I wasn't really concerned about anyone else coming. But yeah, that's what I mean. And, and it's where you got to have a bit more map awareness as well, really see when people are missing. But that's why wards are important. But I don't buy wards. Or I tend to try and get this early harvester because my team just doesn't buy for it. We do have some harvesters down now, but one of the main reasons also is to get this one on the left hand lane or on the right hand lane, depending on where I am. Even though I think Gideon is a lot better in mid because you can roam a lot better, and you know, Gideon's a very strong champion, someone you want to be having roaming really. Oh, you know. I don't even have enough mana to ult him. If we had enough mana, I'd have went for that, but literally we, we game. It's sucky. About enough mana to queue, we're all gonna have to look back in a sec. We've got a good amount of points. But I really want to get that harvester down, but now we're so far frickin' shoving my turret, it's not gonna be as easy as it looks. Unless Kalari can pressurize him off here, but he's most likely just gonna frickin' think away. Just got no mana to do anything. At least he doesn't have a ult, so he shouldn't have too much of a worry. We just have the auto attack him down. Unless he's going to greet me. We do have my pink up. I just try and greet. We're going for the key. Oh, we can't get raided. Oh, good day. Not really. Or I was didn't want to queue straight away. We didn't have enough mana to queue straight away. But I wanted to hold my blink just in case we did like mess up. Uh, it's alright. We get my harvester down, which is fine. We're back off here, and that's good. And that's a really good harvest to get down. And we could sell that for a ward now because we're probably not going to be putting one. If we stick to that lane then, um, yeah, and that's it, it's not really my, well, it's your jungler's role already, you want to be doing all the harvesters and whatnot. So this is my custom build, I literally just made this build, um, I'm not sure how it's going to go, I've been finding that the, the, the uh, standard builds they recommend you are just so rubbish, so. Uh, the problem is though with my, my custom build is I don't have, well, I don't know what all the cards are, but I look at the cards and I think like, I wish there's got to be some cooler cards. and which I don't have at the moment. I'm trying to open them up as much pack as I can, and obviously, where I bought the uh, Challenger pack, or the Masters pack, whatever it is, the big pack, where I get all the Master skins, I don't have to use my money to be unlocking that, which is like 75,000 or something. So I can use that all on cards, but it's just not helping. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's see what we can get up to. So we got ult up now. Zerog is pretty cool. I learned the other day when he actually stacks, the more he stacks, he actually gets bigger in game, which I think is pretty cool. So my team has actually taken the turret here. I'm not going to chase him into the unknown. Deny him some farm, which is fine. And uh, we'll clear through. Oh god, we have a. Going down. down. What's going down over here? We can. I don't know, this is going to be a smart idea. It's probably not. I do have my ult up. Fuck it. You only live once. You got these killed twin black. Or not. Wow. Oh, can't read. Really done anything more than that. We're gonna be able to even have enough uh oh. we saved the harvester? We saved the harvester. Couldn't have done anything more then really. This twin blast actually got oh. You get her to sprint. Oh no, I missed the auto attack. If we'd actually landed that, she'd have been rooted and we'd kill her then, but. Goddamn noob dab. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but. Yeah, this is why, if we had a harvester now, the thing is, you don't have the harvester, look how long it takes to place. But, and place it, there's nothing going on in the map, so you may as well. If we can secure this again, it just stops them having it, that's the main thing. But you can see how long it actually does take when you don't have a harvester. 
Um, but yeah, we should have really uh, probably killed the uh, Kalari then, I missed my ult attack. And that's the thing with this game, what makes it, like, I, I was playing yesterday, and the amount of escapes that I had it was ridiculous, like getting away with 10 HP because you can just fall off a cliff and then you enter that sprint mode and you just get away, uh, it's crazy. And also the fact that where it's skill shots from uh, for ranged auto attacks, you can quite easily juke them out. As uh, she, or, she, you know, I, she missed, I missed. <laughs> I do that thing she juked. And also I get lost on the map, so when I'm chasing bars I'm like, oh god. Or when I'm running away, I've had it before, where I've got away with literally minimal HP and then I've just literally edged into a wall and when they're still chasing me, they then kill me. That was enough to close the gap. Anyway, um, that's okay. We're, we have 12 points, so we're like one of the highest, or highest in game, but there's a few other bots up there. Ults up. Uh, we're not even going to attempt to destroy that harvest. It just takes so long, it's just pointless. Especially when they know that you're attacking it. So, uh, see if we can um, push. Let's see if we can push bottom. I guess we could have pushed top. I didn't at the time realize they all. We could have got a nice push there. Let's see if we can make something. Probably by the time we come down here, it's going to be all too late there. Like that, bitches. How you like it up here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You could like ult up from up here, but if you do ult, you don't actually pull them in though. I see anything. You want some? Also, if you're standing here and she comes in step, yeah, I believe you can see her as well. Very much going on. I thought as soon as we got over there, it'd be rest in pepperoni. Oh, I don't really want to push him because I don't want to overextend. So you can see now he's oh he's killing it reasonably quick, but he now draws attention over, and we might be able to make something happen off of this now. He does have his uh, E though. So I imagine he'll probably escape. Rox has all, mate. Yeah, let me make it happen. Slowly but surely, I think we got him. Nice, big kill. And that, you know, that's purely because he went to go for that harvester. I say, oh, you little bitch. Oh, I don't want to, I know if I ult, she's just going to blink away. I don't want to waste my ult for that. Ah, now we can. Yeah, probably <laughs> overkill by ult, but we're not going to do any. I don't think we're really going to make anything happen with it. And now we can make a guaranteed push. Uh, I think she must have messed up her jump. I know, I've not actually played Kalari yet, she's a champion I keep getting told to play, but I haven't got around to it. Um, but yeah, good stuff, we'll shove this out. The problem is we have no mana. So I kind of thought I'd go for the mana regen one, but it's not really made my life any more easier, to be honest. Um, we'll shove this in. When you get the last hits, it's going be cool, but... you want to overstay my wild kill? Don't know where some bots are, but I'm being a bit greedy. Ah, uh, we we greedy and we didn't get them. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, so we're going to this harvest now because I expect no one's done it. 9:50. It's not really all that much to be honest. So it's better than nothing. And maybe we've got more harvest to control than them. We don't have that one on the right-hand lane, but we've got uh, the majority, which is good. So we've got six points. Not really anything fancy by. Actually, we can uh, upgrade this weapon now, though, can't we? Yeah what we can do. Uh, we'll upgrade it. I think a cool way to do it, it depends on how you actually do in a game and when you come back with card points, but if you can max our item out really early with uh, two point cards, so you get three two point cards and you max out your weapon, I think that's the best way to do it, but sometimes you only come back with six points, so I think, well I just end up buying the item and a three point upgrade. Uh, yeah, and you can get the two points, so it's pretty nice. Make three, you can save it there. Clary can fix one off here, I don't really make much happen. You know? She just, what? She just died. <laughs> I have to just I'm gonna save my ult if we can get into a better position. There we go, we've got both of them now. If you want to try and get your ult and your Q down, that's the only thing. Ah, oh, we're not doing any damage. Your ult and your Q. Oh, we got Twin Blast behind me, that's not good. I don't want to even look around. Oh my god. Nothing we can do about that. I've got no E and Twin Blast and his ult by me. It's GG, really. Depends if my team can clean up there. 
Oh, Grok. Bad man. That's what I was talking about. Twin Blast. That means they're making it happen a bit too far away. Is that the challenge? Uh, it looks a bit different, let's say. Um, no, GG. They're looking good, though. 18 points. There's only one person who's their uh, support. Which is not too much an issue, whilst we've got with me. Probably Grux imagines on 18, yeah. And Murdoch. Murdoch just seems pretty damn OP at the moment, to be honest. Like, I just. His abilities do so much damage, and his auto attacks, you should build like crit chance on him, and his auto attacks just do some uh, yeah, ridiculous damage. So let's get the energy pen in there, let's try some energy pen. I, I, it's a bit early, I guess, for energy pen, but you know, it's, well, it's not necessarily early because you'll be going through their base stats, and I imagine no one's going to have any energy armor on, their on them at the moment. So. Oh, we'll see what we can make happen. We're looking pretty strong, looking a lot better than there, Gideon. Uh, it's cool. Not as farmed up as much as I necessarily liked, but picked up some nice kills and uh, the they're getting the not or it's normally other games just go so slow because people don't know what they're doing. Uh, they are fighting, but I'm gonna try and push in mid. I don't think we. If, for me to go over there, I'm gonna have to walk behind that team, and I don't really fancy doing that. So if we can shove this in real quick, might be able to cause them some issues. For it's just so hard killing turrets, and the range of the turrets is so freaking big, it's ridiculous. Like, the fact that you have to actually walk into that and then you can be attacked by the turret in that range, it's just crazy. Well, we could ult him, but he just blink, uh, dash out of us, which I worry about. I think I'm in range for my ult, am I? We baited him in for his ult, oh god. What have I done? What have I done? That was really stupid. There's a thing with Twin Blast, if you ult, he can just ult and he's going to do more damage than you are with your ultimate. But I didn't even miss my ult anyway, it was... Um, yeah, I didn't even know why I attempted to do it, because the thing was, with his dash, I would never got on top of him enough, and he would just dash out of it anyway, and then can ult, or just ult anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's a free, that was really bad. We were looking really good up to that point. That view was a bit stupid, really. We played it right, we would have killed him, but I messed up and it's a nice kill for Twin Blast to get. I say we're the highest in game, but you got to be a noob sometime, that was, that was really bad. <laughs> that was, ah, uh, yeah, those things. Oh well. M2, eh? We were doing some nice damage, but yeah, it was just a really bad ultimate. And, and then I could have blinked away a lot sooner, but I was trying to... I was hoping that we could have got an auto attack or two, obviously with his ultimate and like he did was a really a good idea really, I should have just blinked out straight away. Oh well, uh, so we'll get some cooldowns soon, next item. How, we might be able to pick their Gideon up here, we'll see what we might have. Stuff up the turret. We want to surrender though, that's what I mean, I, I don't know why we want to surrender, I think we're looking pretty damn good for ourselves to be honest. I'm pretty annoyed if we were to surrender. Looking good, so again pick up that XP, that's important. Well, our node XP is like 2.4k now, which is really good, it's gone up a lot compared to, it was like 1k too long ago now, so that's good. We've got to be careful because we're gifting away a lot of free kills over the board at the moment. So. A bit sloppy. Shove this out. Go have a look if this one on the right is up. I don't know if it'd take me so long to freaking kill it if it is up. It's kind of pointless to be honest. Not so bad now, but especially early game. Are they, are they not even placed one down? I'm not even involved. We're going to need to go mid quickly to be honest. The fact that they, they've not got one, we could place one down, but I think there's more. Or oh, a bit. Oh, a bit worried like stuff with this. This is what we want. Here we go, baby. She popped her arm. It's fine. Easy to help boy. Ain't doing much more there, really. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, and I don't want to use my ult. I just paranoid she'd jump out, but maybe she jumped in there. Anyway, it works out. It's cool. I think my ult wouldn't have saved. Oh my god, that's a. That's a lot of damage. I was like, ah, oh, we're putting out. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. Still regret. <laughs> I think that out that a lot sooner. That was some crazy damage. I do have my ult up. Uh, 
to move faster. Lots of speed. Alright, good job from that. Nice. Ain't getting away. One cool thing as well if you're on um, Gideon's. Oh my god. Minions. On Gideon's team, you can actually jump through his portal as well. That's a bit nice. A bit scrappy by me, but it worked out. Really good job. Grux being the beast that he is. Twin Blast coming at the perfect time. I do have to really respect uh, uh, Kalaria right now. She probably will just mark me. Oh god, what have I done? We should have left a long time ago. Come on, boy. You want some of these beans? Ah, oh, no. The wall. <laughs> this is what I mean about escape wise. Like, it's crazy. Like, how have I actually just got away from that? That's ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we can't do anything. If she sees me, we're just gonna be insta dead. So, sorry, guys. Should have had some quick beat. Like, oh god, no, we're dead. We're dead. Did not see that coming. That was a bit of a greedy place to recoil. Oh, you must. Wow. Oh, you want GG? I did not see that coming. <laughs> it's one of those places you know you shouldn't be recalling, but you try it, and then you fail. Alright, cool, so we now have that completed, so we're looking at actually getting a pretty nice 181 damage, energy damage, which is really nice. I we're getting a crit bonus from, I think that's just standard, I guess, maybe. I don't know how if crit bonus is actually any good on him or not. Murdoch is just OP. We've got 32 energy pen, which would be nice, and yeah, we'll see if we can make some plays happen now, but... That was a bit, that was really stupid for me to die to, I did like Twin Blast. But you can see how we're good we're looking, 27 points, so we're actually the highest in game, along with uh, the support, she's really up there. And Grux, Grux looking strong, so... Yeah, ah, oh, they now put a harvest down there, <laughs> should have done it. Uh, Grux is uh, smashing up the top left lane, I don't know what the lanes are on this freaking game. I'd call that top lane. That's cool, we'll show about mid, there's nothing. Ooh. That's what really annoys me when you freaking auto tackle doing a bit and it cancels your sprint and you gotta sprint away over here. I'll shove this out, we should, like, my Q should be doing some ridiculous damage to these minions now, which is good. But yeah, we gotta be a bit careful, like, that's some stupid deaths right now. Can't auto tackle my. Oh, freaking twin bar every time. She's gonna jump down. This could go horribly wrong. Yeah. the fuck yeah. I was half tempted to stop and queue, but because the twin blast was there, really a bit of a predicament. I can see myself again cancelled. Oh, it's all gone. I was like three to one, three and zero maybe at one point. Yeah, it's all gone tits up. Four deaths in a row, at least three deaths. Man, Grux is looking pretty good. Oh, pretty good day. Well, oh, Grux. Smash. Nice, nice. Not looking too good. Uh, looks like they're all gonna die. Not too good. Uh, let's get some cooldown now. Uh, just city by me, it really shouldn't have been where I was. Uh, that, that was the thing where I said if I was just to ult me her, she would just jump out. But I was hoping we put enough damage down and, yeah, and Twin Blast to be my arch enemy now. Ever since that death to him in mid, he's like, he's, we know he wanted to kill me. <laughs> just kill me time and time again. It's really annoying. we got to be careful because we're now throwing away a lot and potentially could be in this game. It's all, yeah. That's down my fault, I've just died needlessly now, but no real reason. Um, yeah, we're gonna see if we can. We're gonna be able to hold that one, empty this quick. We'll be able to stop this. Could come behind them, and I could regret what we're about to do. Probably gonna regret because there's so many people there right now. Uh, we stopped them, that's good. We could actually, uh, yeah, nice. Uh, we hold the turret, that's actually really good. We would have been able to hold it off. Kalari's gonna be able to do here. Oh, Kalari. 
Oh god, no. Should actually, yeah, no, no, die. Oh, I mean, that was that was a close call. I had uh, the support actually altered onto Kitty, and it'd have been a different story then. But I don't know where she went. Yeah, go hold mid, shove that out. And, oh, there's a lot of people in our jungle. I don't even want to look. Don't even want to look what they're up to. To be honest, they're definitely outnumbered there, which would leave that. They could be. Um, well, no, they could be coming back to me. That's fine. They come back to me. That's fine. Off we die. Oh my god. Where the fuck is she? Oh. That damage Twin Blast for now is crazy. This would be really nice then to have like, some kind of Zonya's item. Um, or just some item which gives me at damage and armor. I put an armor item in here, but I don't want to just build it uh, just for the sake of. Uh, Oh, you don't. Oh, I get the armor, but I'm gonna lack damage then. That's kind of. I guess you gotta go for the trade-off. I did see one build, and that's why I put in there. Yeah, I needed some armor, and there wasn't really any more damage items I kind of wanted. So, I don't know. We'll see. That was some crazy damage. Twin blast put out now. Scary stuff. Nice. Someone's coming behind him, I don't know. I'm just... Really, like, now we could do the OP buff, which would be pretty freaking good. Maybe we could do all prime. We're not, by the time we push mid up with the minion wave, the minions are just back. And this is a problem with the, the game, it's just so hard to push. I think doing something like all prime if my team is actually with me is a lot better. Like, the buff you get more prime and super AP. And like you look at Twin Blast, like time he's now got mid and those minion waves, the minions that aren't even with him yet, they're all gonna be up. It's just it's impossible. Like it's the one thing they really need to sort with this game, it just it's just so hard to like push push looking. It's still not even got the minions there and they're all up now. Like time he's got there, it's just you know, oh whatever. Instead we get all prime and maybe we can hand this or oh, I don't know, I don't really want it. We've got my blink I guess. There's no one really would bear to have it but Let's see. It's got a big freaking hit mark on there. Yeah. So we need to try and attack this right lane and see what we can make happen. Maybe Twin Blast doesn't go die now because this would be a pain in the ass. I look so they've changed how you look as well. It looks so cool now. But we do have a big hit marker, so we've got to be a bit careful. And we're not grouped up. And the main man we need with us right now is freaking Grux, who is not here. Obviously, they all know where we're coming from, and uh, really, or oh, I guess in some sense, Grux split pushing could draw them away. So it could actually, in some sense, favor us. We'll see. And also, they got the timer now, 131 seconds. So it's important to know. Don't know if me. I don't know if me and Kalari having it be better. Twin bats, you know, like what the fuck? One thing, if we just hold them here, Grux is pushing, so it could be a trade-off, but. Do we just blink for it and just go ham? Probably like this. If we had Twin Blast here, we'd actually be an even number, but we don't, so... We just need to keep them busy whilst uh, Grux attacks, because Grux should wreck through that. I am just... Oh god, what have I been... What? Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I have a feeling we could just attempt to blink in there and just go for it. We've been keeping them busy. Grux has taken the... Um, Oh my god, that damage. Grux is taking it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I think he still has his blink up, but if anything, we can. Oh. Low! Low, what have we done? Oh god, this could be really bad. Oh god. No. What have we done? Third up. Oh, we'd actually land that freaking blink right there. Hand it on. GG. Real big. And the thing is, like I say, Grux actually doing what he did worked out really well because he was able to get the left in here, which was huge. Um, but it's just a shame like Twin Blast, like I say, died for no reason. But he does get the buff. We could have held it for Clary, but we want to try and get this in and make as much happen now. This is where we really can start doing some damage with this freaking buff. So yeah, happy days. That was, that was a really nice fight, considering we're outnumbered, I think. Gideon, I don't know. Yeah, it might have been actually the same. 
I'm not sure. But it was, yeah, it's big, big play anyway. And now we get the buff. That's, oh my god. We should actually kind of wreck her as long as she doesn't get on top of me to attack me. <laughs> like the damage you do with this freaking buff is just crazy. Um, I think I'm not 100 sure. I didn't see then, but I have a feeling when someone dies with the OP buff. Yeah, every, you lose it a little bit quicker. I could be wrong on that, but he says it fades, and I'm pretty sure I've seen the timer go down. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I would love to steal that red buff. Uh, I haven't got the balls to do it, to be honest. Pretty huge if we could, but I haven't got the balls. So we'll just uh, we'll take this camp and then we're back. And then we'll see, I don't know, 100 seconds probably. Might be able to make something happen. We got an inhib, so we need to try and focus another lane. But that was a really big play. Uh, really big play. So 45, we're actually highest in game completely. Miles ahead now, and see the jump in difference. Pretty much like an item upgraded on most of them, which is huge. That was a big power play. Uh, we'll discard the ward and we'll go for uh, energy damage, I guess. We get two upgrades in there, nice. Cool, yeah, looking really good now. That was massive, massive play. 72 seconds, I don't know. If what much more we're going to do here, but we got, well, the, the main thing, even though we haven't really used OP buff to take anything, I think we took, like, one out of turret. The biggest thing was being able to, uh, take Grux pushing and just drawing them away so that Grux would make that push happen was massive for us. So we really snowballed. Picked it back up, we were in a bad, little, bad, little bit of slump, we were tilting, but it's all good now. I don't know what we're going to make happen, though, with this... 40 seconds. <laughs> so someone's really got to be dealing with that left lane, so maybe we can... Oh, GG. I say once Grax gets on the turret with OP bar, to be honest, once Grax gets on the turret without it anyway, he just wrecks. And you see the damage we're going to do to the turret now, like with Murdoch here. We should just like... Oh yeah, whatever, see there. <laughs> it's just crazy. There's a difference OP bar, it's insane. And literally just through taking that OP bar, being able to take every inhib now. Nice. Still got OP? Uh, that's what I mean. Now he can just ult. Oh my god. Come for me, bro. Nice. Well played. Couldn't really do anything more. We actually had to sneak around the corner, but I get that's the problem, like, say, when you ult Twin Blast, and you know, I was just uh, kind of in that situation. I thought, what the OP buff is still there. I was like, oh, we can do it. But, um,. There, he just pops his ult and there's nothing you can do really, he just wrecks. Like, the damage Twin Blast is pretty damn high. That was a good job. Like, his early game damage is pathetic, really, but come late game, he's a beast. They have it aced us here, though. But we have three sets of super minions coming to the base, and three of them dead, so those super minions should start doing some damage, hopefully. Um, yeah, good stuff. Overcommitted a bit too hard at the end, really, then. Twin Blast wrecked me. I'd say that the core probably should drop to about 30% I think with these super minions, hopefully. That'd be a nice amount. You can't see it's boring, I want to see something. Change the camera. I hope they do add a 3 view mode as well, that would be really cool. be a nice thing to see. Cool. Ah, uh, 43%. Now we just need to hit or push with the super minions, there ain't nothing they're going to be able to do. Looking good. 5.5, it's not all that much, not too bad. It'll be interesting to see what we should have a lot more than theirs because we've controlled majority of the harvesters and they only put one on that right hand lane around about the 25 minute mark. So, yeah, I really should have controlled them, but they haven't been as emptied as frequently as they should have been. But anyway, reset to super minions. Let's see if I can make this happen then, eh? We probably need to group up now. We don't want to be going in individually and just dying because they stop picking up kills. It's gonna Screw it for that. That left lane can't be too far from spawn either. Good blast is going for it. And this is what I mean, if he dies right now, if he gets a kill. And no, that's what I mean when I press my key by accident, it's now cancel my freaking sprint. It's so annoying. Uh, let's push her out of base. Oh, he got her, wow. So, yeah. Uh, well, how he got her? She looked like she got Oh, she got her way, really. And now, yeah, that's GG now. Are you going to be able to handle this? Too many super minions are badasses. Just how, how, how the whole wave is freaking super minions is crazy. <laughs> you can just jump in there and ult them, to be honest. Once you have a wave, you want to... Oh, he's got... Oh, God. No, Twin Blast. Fuck you. 
Oh my god. Oh, he didn't die. That twin blast really <laughs> oh, I didn't see where he came from. So in the end we actually have the highest points in game 48 along with Crux. Crux played really well. He was a good player. So that was actually quite an enjoyable game and team was actually seemed to know what they were actually up to this game. I can't I quit condemn there we go. So yeah, it was good stuff. Um we, we made a nice early start. The the invade they kinda of failed on. We traded two kills for two, which is good considering they were the ones making the invade and we were able to react to it, which was nice. So yeah, it was good stuff. Um, so scoreboard wise, three points. So we had double their um, node XP. I don't know if that's actually the right term for a node XP or whatever. But from the harvesters, that's really important. We had double. I think we could have had a lot more. We just weren't emptying them freak enough because we can had the majority of the control. And because of that, obviously we had highest points, had the highest farm on my team. I was only there getting out farming me. It was because of my sloppy farm in early game where we were trying to. It wasn't. We were sort of roaming a little bit more than like necessary sticking in the lane, which I could have done. But it paid off. We were like three to one at one point, and then had a little tilt and went really bad after that twin blast there, and then it just went downhill. But picked it up, made a massive cool. Like the thing is with that OP bar, is um. As you saw, twin blast was like we're pushed mid, but by the time he got mid, or the minions got there. There was there was nothing to push, you know, and the turret radius is so big, it's so easy for them to sweat the bend, especially with Gideon there, uh, and Twin Blast one shots the minions, he just Gideon just cues them, and it's just like, well, well, where's the wave going? But we got the OP bar, Grux split pushes, makes a massive play there, and we just take the um, take the buff, and in the end we get free in hips off of it, which was huge. So yeah, hope you bosses enjoyed. Take it easy every day. Peace.